Michael Balboa getting it back from Aye Gabusi. Aye Gabusi came in probable on the evening. It looks like he is good to go to the night as that is intercepted by Ryan Jung. And here comes good old Chile Ferreas, leading scorer in all the MISL and, of course, leading scorer for the Omaha Vipers. Does a little bit of everything for this team. So now we have, that is Caliguri. Big body Caliguri coming in there. Big time defender. Him and Balboa, quite the stout two defenders. Between the USA 94 World Cup team and the Omaha Vipers. There's Gutierrez. Back over to Caliguri. And here is a good old Alexi Lawless. Probably the most popular and most recognized face of all the players from the 94 team. Of course, back then he was supporting the big red fro and the big long goatee that everyone remembers him from. Looking a little bit his age now. Coming out with the orange and black shoes. There's a shoulder from Chile Ferreira. He knocks it out of bounds. Of course, everyone remembers the team automatically qualifying for the 1994 World Cup as being for being the host of the tournament. They started off with the one and one draw against Switzerland. The rest of the old teammates. So 8.54 to go, first period. Omaha Vipers, the 1994 World Cup USA team. Here's a little razzle-dazzle by Freddie Moody. His shot on goal right through the legs of Jose Bonzi. Goal, Omaha Vipers. Freddie Mugin showing some young legs on these old veterans. Doing a little razzle-dazzle tie in the Pontiac Silver Dome in Detroit, USA. Oh, as we see a goal there by the Omaha Vipers. And that was Marcio Curiel. Team, four to nothing already. Your scores. Omaha goes up early off Freddie Mugin. Goal unassisted. And then this, of course, last one by Marcio Curiel. And that one was assisted by Chile Ferreas. Now as we see a couple shots on goal, and there is a goal for the USA team. Roy Lasseter putting a little stake on it. Getting it in the up, upper hand corner of that goal, and there was absolutely nothing Josh Miller could do. They may be older and they may be a little tired out there, but if they can get those feet on a ball, they can put it anywhere. So four to three as Roy Lasseter hits a three-pointer from outside the arc. He probably didn't even realize he made three points as they're probably not used to these indoor Gets that one blocked <laughs> by Jose Bonte. Saying a few words to his teammate. And here's Ryan Jung. Shot a goal just to the right on the far post. Back to Echo Silva in the middle to Chile for a goal. Omaha Vipers. An awesome give and go between Deco Silva and Chile Ferreas and Chile Ferreas doing what he does every single matchup in this MISL. As all he had to do was tap it. Perfect pass into the middle. Give and go by Deco Silva. And the Vipers go up 6-3. to three. Omaha Vipers. Here's a shot and goal by Diego Gutierrez. And that's blocked by Miller. Another up. And that is intercepted by Ferreas. Here's Johnny Torres again in the corner. He looks in the middle from Dooley. Dooley too high. Old veteran Tom Dooley, the dual, uh, the dual national Dooley is another former player who's leveraged his time with the U.S. national team as he is a big time in youth soccer development, having, sp having spent most of his professional career in Germany. He now uses his name to brand soccer schools in both Germany and the U.S., so doing a lot of good around the world with his soccer experience. So there's Clavillo down now, Gutierrez. Back to Lawless. Lawless in the corner to Lasseter. Lasseter back in the middle. That's picked a, poked away by Josh Miller. Here's Bonte back to Precky. Precky just above the yellow line. Precky to shoot on goal. And that's just tipped into the goal by Tony Senna. Goal for the USA team. The old veterans making it look extremely easy and taking full advantage of the power play here with Silva sitting the penalty box for Omaha USA gets on the board now just down one with a two-pointer by Tony Santa 
Nice, nice tip. Tipping. Well, they tricked goalie Josh Miller. Tournament favorites, but suffered a shocking defeat. Hailed as the most important win in U.S. history at the time. Of course, that was all due to Escobar's weird goal on his own team. As here's Torres now in the corner trying to go mid to Tom Dooley. Tom Dooley not in the right position for him. Get anywhere. There's Presky. Presky will get it into the goal. USA goal. Presky Radoncevic. That is two on the night now for Preki. Preki looking like he could do whatever he wants. With the moves in the middle and kicking as hard as he possibly can. Josh Miller can't quite get control of that one. Let's the ball go right over his head. 16 seconds to go. As Fabinho will look to put pressure on USA here and Jose Bonsi. Here's Ferreas. Ferreas trying to go on goal. Looking for somebody in the middle. There's Suarez, and that is a goal for the Vipers. 2.8 seconds to go before halftime. And Chile Vareas and Lalo Suarez making something happen. And Lalo just puts all the ump he possibly has in his goal. And we will head into halftime with an 8-7 to score. Omaha Vipers over the USA 1994 World Cup team. Nineteen ninety four World Cup USA team. Of course Alexi Lawless among others here in Omaha right now at the Viper Pit in front of the seventh man as they call it of the fans. A pretty lively first half, eight to seven is your score. Omaha up by one with a score with two seconds left in the game to put them up one point. So all kinds of action for this special exhibition in the middle of the MISL season schedule. Your other game going on, the only game in the MISL right now, Baltimore-Milwaukee. Baltimore still up 5-11-6 <laughs> in the fourth quarter with 10 minutes left to go in that one. And we'll get you some stats on that one here in just a second. Hundra is Josh Miller, who has struggled a little bit so far this game against this old crafty veteran group. There's Lossiter back into Santa Santa off the board and Josh Miller a couple tips away with his palm of his hand and Tony Santa had two perfect looking shots there off of the wall. Finally the USA team using the wall to their benefit something they're not normally used to. Lossiter had a great pass off the wall there right in the middle for Tony Santa couldn't quite get that one. Here's Goody Gutierrez back to uh, Johnny Torres. Perfect, perfect goal for USA. As they take the lead 8-7. to seven. Gutierrez was all by himself, one-on-one -on -one with Josh Miller, and found a streaking Torres. Of course, Johnny Torres. Yeah, here's Chris Brunt. Start playing close on Clavillo. Clavillo now that's, that's Conte and Chris Brunt, but Clavillo and... Well, now it's Conte and it's Preki, I believe. Back in this near corner. That's out to Ryan Young. Back over to Kiros. And that one's taken away by the USA team. So here's Preki up the wall trying to get it to Dooley. Dooley will back foot it. Cross field to Torres. Torres back the other way. Cross field over to Preki. Preki being marked close by Kiros. Now to the Millers. Dooley shot on goal. Blocked by Miller. Miller getting into his hands this time. Not letting that one squeak by him. Post for Freas. Now here's Lossiter. Lossiter will get it over to Gutierrez. Gutierrez get in the corner to Santa. Santa back to Gutierrez. Gutierrez shot out. Go goal in the net. USA will go up 11 to 8. Or excuse me, that was a three pointer. So 12 to 8 now your score. USA going up. It's Gutierrez. Smooth and silky on that shot. Just Gannon in the corner now in possession of it. He'll get it to Deco. Deco will try to turn around and shoot on goal, but that's blocked away by goalkeeper. Now Lexi Lawless will have it far side. 
He'll go down the board up to Johnny Torres. Johnny Torres and Caligari, two on two. Here's Caligari, a shot on goal through the legs of Miller into the back of the net. Goal for the USA. Caligari going through the legs of Miller. Instead of going around him, why not go through the goalkeeper? 14 to 8, USA now leading with 12 seconds to go in the third period. MISL. Now that shot's too far left for Fabinho. Here's Chris Brunt. Of course, Rick Cardinho, Cavalcante not playing tonight. As Fabinho goes off the wall for himself and into the goal. Goal for the Vipers. Fabinho Ribeiro doing a little give and go to himself unassisted off the wall back into the middle Aaron Pollock was there to trap that ball and get rid of it now they'll look up field here's Ferreas Ferreas has got a man in the middle here's Fabinho into the goal Viper goal back to back scores for the veteran Fabinho and that is off a beautiful assist from Chile Ferreas one on one with Coley Navarez. He'll go back in the middle. There's shot on goal. Deco Silva. Back of the net. Goal, Vipers. Back to back to back goals for the Omaha Vipers. The first two coming from Fabinho. And now Deco Silva with his second goal on the night for another two pointer. And he ties this one up. Another score by the Omaha Vipers. Uh, here's Ferreos at the top of the key. Ferreos will shoot on goal. And that's tipped away by Navarez again. Vio will head it back to Navarez and Navarez will roll it out to Gutierrez. Now, here's Tom Dooley right in front of his own goal. But cleared up to Alexi Lawless. Alexi Lawless is going to look for Gutierrez, but he just screens his man. Still looking to go, and he'll go back to Vivio. Being guarded by Balboa. Now's Mujin, now back to Chico. Chico's got a shot on goal, but he won't take it. He'll cross in the middle. Here's Mujin, he's got a shot on goal. And there it is. Omaha goes up two. It's a game of angles. Shot on goal. Good block by Navarez. Now back the other way is now Balboa, three on one. He gets it to Presky. Presky crosses over to Santa. Santa has two shots on goal, but he can't get it. Just to the right of the far post is Tony Santa now hobbling off the field. 60 seconds to go now as we hear the PA announcer call it. As things start to get hectic here. Now as USA will put pressure on to try to tie this one up or take the lead with a three-pointer. Here's Presky now in this near corner as we hear the USA chant from the Omaha Viper fans. You can't blame them, for this will be the only time they see these guys. Love it or leave it, USA number one, as they say. Here's Kiros back in the middle. Chris Brunt just tipped away for Reyes. Goal, Vipers. Because they can't get any better than that, folks. by Presky. And Miller will get rid of that quickly. So here comes Suarez. He's got Reyes on the far side. And Johnny Torres... Upfield as, he's, as, as Omaha will just bleed this 20 seconds out. So Omaha will go on to win in this exciting exhibition on January 21st, Friday. 18 to 14, Omaha beats the old veteran lawless led squad of the 1994 USA World Cup team. Appreciate everybody who joined us this evening. Have a fantastic weekend, and we'll see you next time.